Hello, and welcome to Marriage Unchained, the art of one flesh, where saving marriages, saving families, and saving souls is the flavor of the day. Now, let's join our host and author of Marriage Unchained, Catholic Alpha Radical, Jerry Jacobs Jr. Welcome to episode 22. Today's focus, one of the top signs your marriage might be over. So, sit back, relax, take a chill pill, and get ready to rock, but don't duck. Can you feel it? Captain God for Radical, coming at you now. Quote, you must ask God to give you power to fight against the sin of pride, which is your greatest enemy, the root of all that is evil and the failure of all that is good, for God resists the proud. End quote. St. Vincent de Paul. Today, I want you to consider the description of a man. His name is Prideful Paul. Prideful Paul is a man who won't listen, knows everything, as well as denies the truth, even when it's presented factually and faithfully. He's full of selfishness and refuses to sacrifice. His ideas and what he believes loom above everything and everyone else, including God. He believes he's actually greater than he truly is. Again, does this describe you in your marriage? You sure? Not even a little bit? A problem with men that's continued to grow over the centuries is when we think we know something, there's nothing that anyone can do to change our minds. Our usual attitude is, hey, I got this. I know my wife. I know how she thinks and what she is going to do next. Our wife will give us clues about her unhappiness or concerns with our marriage, but we ignore them. This is the first step to you becoming involved in the dreaded, dreaded divorce court. The problem here is you don't know what you don't know. Many times our pride holds us back in marriage, mainly because we just don't want to deal with its problems. Our wife is ready to walk out the door and take the children, and we're still clueless. What I want you to understand now is that your marriage is probably in the lackluster, boring stage right now. Why? Because you're neglecting it as you do with projects needing done around the house. So, what's the solution? Here are some things that will help. One, confession. Because it's a sacrament and all graces from God stem from you being in grace with God. Two, pray the litany of humility. Three, accept the trials of pride when the Holy Spirit sends them your way. Why? Because the only way to beat the evil of the, of the evil one is pride is through humility. And the only way to help you with God is for God to send you tests of humility to help you get used to being defeated defeating pride in your marriage and your common life. Again, the only way to, de to, de to defeat pride is through humility. So next, here are some benefits to working on tactic number one. Humility will allow you to consider that maybe your wife isn't responsible for all problems plaguing your marriage. Eliminating pride will help you to grow in virtue, which leads to holiness and authentic masculinity. Look, your virtue and holiness will, will drive your wife crazy with respect, submissiveness, and devotion, compelling her to begin fixing her flaws in your marriage. Now, here are some consequences of failing to follow alpha marriage tactic number one. First, your marriage will never become great, holy, or legendary. Yep, destined for mediocrity. Your wife will never fully commit to you or follow your lead because your pride will always come between you, her, and God. An uncomfortable tension will always exist between you as you are always blaming her for your problems and she reciprocates blaming you. <laughs> ah. 
Want more? Need more? Crave more? Visit CatholicAlpha.com to take the 20-minute marriage makeover challenge. Five less than 20-minute videos designed to help you conquer Catholic marriage problems. Don't wait. Do it today. I'm Jerry Jacobs Jr. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Christian Soldier, for listening in today. Remember, Catholic Alpha Radical is designed to repair, ignite, and once again spark the fire back into your marriage or relationship. So, what's your next action step? One, share this podcast with someone needing help in their marriage or relationship. Two, rate this podcast if listening on iTunes. Three, subscribe to this podcast if listening on CatholicAlpha.com to get new episodes in your email now.